What's going on everybody? Tyler Johnston here. It's been a while since um, I've actually recorded a video of Call of Duty World War II. Now to go along with this, um, this is like my first game I've played of it. Hardcore team deathmatch. And so honestly, a little while. It has been a little while, you know, the last time I played it was the last time I live streamed. And I played like half a game before I rec I'm recording this. Now, the whole purpose of me recording this instead of live streaming is because I'm going to take a break from this game. And I thought you guys deserved to know the reason for the live streams not being there like they were at the very beginning. Also, why I haven't been posting as much as I normally would. But it's all because I usually will live stream this game, but I honestly have not really been... Uh, it hasn't seemed fun. The fun kind of ran out of the game. And I hate when that happens to a game. I really hate when the fun runs out and then there's just nothing really to do. So, for that, I'm going to be taking a break from Call of Duty World War II. If you guys still really enjoy the game, please play it more. If you guys don't, you know, that's literally just don't play it then. Because me, I got burnt out. I ended up playing it so much that I got burnt out of the game. And it's not fun being burnt out. Now, as you might see me being... Oh, okay, that's a teammate. As you might see me here being a little bit more campier than normal, it is because... Well, Call of Duty World War II is literally... Oh my god, I just annihilated my teammate. That's not good. But it is by far one of the mu much more difficult games to play compared to what it used to be. When I, because when I first had the game there, it was literally the easiest, one, one of the easiest games in the world. Then they do all these patches, which, in my opinion, completely kind of broke the game. Oh, I got him, I got him, I got him, come on. Oh. But, yeah, in my opinion, game is kind of broken now. They took the fun right out of it. And me and a lot of people w w can agree that once the fun... And that's not even just for YouTubers, that's for everybody who plays games. When a game gets boring, do you continuously want to, con you know, do you want to continue making videos on a constant? Or do you want to take a little break from it and maybe come back? Because trust me, I will be back to this game guaranteed because I want to see the DLCs. That is something I have been kind of really waiting on. I couldn't get down in time. But I was re I, I've been really waiting on them DLCs. So that's one big thing I can't wait to happen. Fire in the hole. For them to actually bring in. Enemy recon aircraft observed. I was, see, and look at that. I was around the corner completely. And he still killed me. So the game, the, 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 the funness just kind of ran out. So I am going to be taking a, a break. And just to go along with the fun, the gunfights, all the patches, everything. You know, I, a lot of uh, people, a lot of the Call of Duty players, they quit playing this game back in December, November. All of these months, they they have quit playing. And then there's people that are like me, who actually played still, remained in the Call of Duty world, and actually hoped that maybe it would be, get better. But it just seems like it's gotten worse over the years. So yeah, you know, it's not, this is a really slow game. Jeez. This game is so damn slow, it's insane. 
And I, look at look at how try hardy this is. Thirty eight to forty one. It's literally sweat fest. It's like no matter what game you get into, you're gonna be sweating the entire game. There is no fun in playing sweat. Enemy recon aircraft is done. There is zero fun Get to cover. in sweat. Just, yeah. And that's my reasoning on the game. Um, but the teammate's gonna be a dick, isn't he? Is he gonna be a dick, or is he actually gonna be good? I hear him. What's going on, buddy? Oh my god. I'm wondering if I think I kind of feel bad for these people. But then the reality sets in. Oh my god. That was dirty as hell. That was dirty. Oh, I was on that trigger, man. How am I doing so good? I'm honestly surprised. I never suspected to be this damn good. Oh, John. Oh, oh friendly grenade. You know, I don't care, it was a friendly grenade that doesn't bother me as much as it used to. Um, uh, okay, well that's a double kill. I'm surprised he wasn't kicked, but... It's three kills, you know, doesn't bother this twice, you know. Last two deaths I've had have been friendly fire. And just to go along with the amount of sweatiness in this game lately... It's also been... Literally, my teammates have been horrible... I can do a, f a not a f I wouldn't say flawless, but a good game, a very good game. I could do well. Like, look at this, 18, and like I'm surprised we're winning now. It's we're barely winning, but it's still enough to legitimately su surprise me. Because oh wow, I actually got that kill. We are 20, and the next person down is 10. Like, I have doubled their kills. And have almost the same amount of deaths. The, my teammates are just not putting in work. The game has really changed. And it... Oh, okay. And if you think about it... Call of Duty World War II is kind of like a... It was, it was kind of like a one-hit wonder, because... The developers of the game, they didn't have a good, uh, they definitely didn't have the best record in the world. Because, honestly, I think, oh, shizzles. I don't, honestly, my opinion with Call of Duty games, please let it be only Treyarch, man. Treyarch knows what to do. How to do it all. Treyarch knows everything. But when you just get some random game developer, you know, that sure they have worked on many Call of Duties, but they don't have the experience or the brains because they don't know what we want as players. And honestly, it really, I'm 25 kills. That's sad. Oh my god, I thought he was upstairs and I got stuck by, by the thing. 25 and 12. Can I go 26? Can I do it? Come on, yeah! 26 and 12, there it goes. We actually had a 26 and 12 game. That was a very good game. Honestly surprised me. But I also want to say, guys, if one more thing before I end this video. I know it's been a long video, but if you would like to, please follow me on Twitter. The link to my Twitter will be in the description below. Now, also, please subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications. So then you'll be updated every single time that you, I mean, that I upload a video. When I upload, you will be notified. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. It really helps show your support towards my channel and really helps me be motivated to continue. 
recording and uploading videos. Now, also, the thing with the Twitter account, feel free to follow me there. Link in the description, like I already said. But the whole purpose of me um, saying for the Twitter thing, it, honestly, it's not to gain followers. Honestly, I swear to God. But if you do follow me, then turn on post notifications there. And there's re a reason why I say that. The whole purpose of me saying that is because if you do that, I always, always tweet before I go live or before I upload a video and while I go live and when the video is up. I always tweet it out with a direct link to the video or to the stream. So please do that if you guys want. And uh, I hope to see you guys on some more Call of Duty content. And just in case if you forgot from the beginning because it is a long video, I did say I am going to stop. I'm taking a break from this game, and I'm taking a break from live streaming. I will be continuing live streaming in the future, but as of right now, I'm putting it on hold for a little bit, because I just need a break from COD. And Call of Duty is the easiest game to live stream for me. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I uh, hope to see you in the next one, guys. Peace out.